I'm going to talk about ball position now. There's various different methods of teaching ball position. It depends on a player's size and build and their technique and their mobility. But what I'd do as a benchmark, if possible, if the person's physically able that I'm teaching, I would try and teach a variable ball position. So let's explain what that means. I've got a little setup here of different, uh, different ball positions that I want to explain. So I would start the routine by standing nice and tall into a good posture, but with the feet together. And I would take half a step either side of the ball for a full swing, and I position the ball in the centre of my ankles. Now the reason I mention that is I have my feet flared, most players do. It just helps with the mobility of turning through the ball and allowing yourself to move without getting locked up in the hips and the ankles. So I would have a centred ball position here in the middle of the ankles from everything from lob wedge, sand iron, any other wedges, 9, 8 and 7 iron. I'd have that in the centre of my stance. For every club longer than a seven, I move it half an inch or a finger's width forward in the stance, just over a centimetre. So six iron, let's do a quick swap. I would go slightly forward, five iron, forward. Then we start going four irons and hybrids at this point for a lot of people. We move that out of the way and we get to the longer hybrids and the fairway woods that are still off the ground at this point. Okay, You can tee a fairway wood up if you need to on a, on a tee shot, maybe of a par three. Or a, or a par four that you want to try and get down the, down the centre. But forward ball position now, allowing a shallower angle into the ball. Then we get to driver. I would have driver off the instep of my front foot. Okay. Now, obviously teeing the ball high with the driver because of the club head size. I would want to see three quarters of the ball as a minimum above the crown of the club. That really helps you to allow the club to be striking up on the ball, which we'll come to on another video where we talk about hitting that driver a little bit further. The importance of teeing it high to help you achieve your optimum distance. So variable ball position is not the only way to do it, but I'd certainly encourage you to try it.